to give you a quick agenda, I'm gonna I'm just go over the, the history of the Dominican Republic, and then I'll get into some of my own personal history, and I'll wrap it up by pointing specific elements of my of my experience. And I have some cool examples that I think you guys will enjoy. So with that said, time for a little history lesson. <laughs> 14 billion years ago, there was a <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Joking, joking. Um, I'm not gonna start that far. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. So, the year is 1491, and we're on the island of Hispaniola, referred to as Isla Quisqueya by the um, current inhabitants, the Taino people. Um, the Taino people, they're interesting because they're often forgotten in the history books, but they were the principal inhabitants of all the islands in the Caribbean. So they inhabited Jamaica, Cuba, Puerto Rico, the Bahamas. Then 1492 comes around and anybody want to take a guess? <laughs> exactly. Some guy named Christopher Columbus comes from Spain and establishes the first European settlement in the Western Hemisphere. And this completely switches everything around. Something interesting happens after this point of contact on the <coughs> island. We see this melting pot of sorts of cultures. You have the native Taino people. You have Europeans who are coming in by the boatload, literally. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then you have Africans who are brought to the islands through the sl slave trade. So this creates a unique mixture of um, ethnicities that um, really make up who, what, what, the, what the Dominican culture is today and really sets the foundation for um, who we are as a people. Now I'm gonna talk about like the elements of my experience and um, to describe this, I've, I've broken it down into four buckets. Um, that's language, artifacts, Customs, you like the animation <laughs> and dance. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more about these as I go along. But let's get into it. The first one being language. And um, I found that there are specific terms that are used in the Dominican Ameri in, in the Dominican American com community, but they are not <coughs> but they are like exclusive to the Dominican American community. It's not like you could use these words in like Mexico or Venezuela or Spain they won't understand what you're saying. Um, it's something that, I guess, has come from the community itself. The first one being Dimelo. Um, Dimelo is a, is a way we greet people. Hey, what's up, Mark? Hello, Come on in. <laughs> Dimelo, Mark. Exactly, Patty. <laughs> you're, you're well on your way to gaining some credibility in the Dominican <laughs> community. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, that's a, that was a great that was a great use of the word dimelo. Um, next time you see a friend, you know, a Dominican friend, be like dimelo, you know. They'll they'll, they'll definitely understand um, what you're talking about, and they'll be pleasantly surprised. This one is tato, um, and this is a Dominican term for all right. It's similar to the um, Spanish vale, which means okay. So you could say tato to like to, I guess, affirm something when you agree with something, or you could pretty much use it in pretty much any context. Um, <laughs> uh, exactly, <laughs> you guys are pretty good at this stuff. Just in case anyone is not familiar with what a bodega is, you may ask, what's the difference between a bodega and like a regular deli? Well, there are some key indicators that will tell you <laughs> what, if you're in a bodega or you're in a deli. The first of which is if they're blasting 97.9 La Mega, you're definitely in a bodega. <laughs> Another indicator <laughs> is if you walk in and there's a cat sleeping on the bread, <laughs> that is a bodega. Um, it kind of looks something like this. <laughs> or like this. <laughs> Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh 
artifacts, these are, these are, these are items that um, hold particular meaning, specifically to Dominicans, um, that other people may not like see them the same way. The first of which being Vicks Vapor Rub. <laughs> this is the universal cure to all illnesses. <laughs> Ebola, throw on some Vicks. <laughs> you broke your leg, rub some Vicks on that. Um, chicken pox, some Vicks will take care of that. The, the next one here is um, this, this mural, this painting. And for some reason, this is, this, you'll find the same painting in every Dominican household. Like, I, I don't know what's the reason, but without a doubt, if it's a Dominican home, you will find a portrait of the, the country landscape with some kind of cottage <laughs> in there. Like, I, I can't explain it. Maybe, maybe it, reminds, it reminds people of, like, their homeland. But without a doubt, if you go into the Dominican household, you will find this image. This is actually the one in my house. 